Good morning, everybody. Oh, y'all are a little dead. Okay, so I wanted to start <laughs> doing something that I've always done at programs to get people live. So I just need y'all to feel it with me. Is that okay? Cool. All right. If you hear my voice, say yeah. yeah. If you hear my voice, say oh yeah. <laughs> All right, we can get started. <laughs> Thank you, Dean Keen, for the kind introduction and to all of you for being here today. Please believe me when I say that I was unaware that the winner of the Soap and Merrill Prize had to speak at graduation until a friend told me, to which I replied with a terrified expression that my mask couldn't hide. <laughs> many people see how social I am and wouldn't believe that standing in front of this many people who expect me to say something profound on a day that marks a major milestone in our lives frightens me. Despite feeling scared and small in the face of this responsibility, I'm grounded in the trust and comfort you have placed in me by allowing me to speak today. I stand before you today not only as a recipient of the Sopomero Prize, but as a member of the last Boston Posse cohort at Hamilton. I would like to do some, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would like to do some reflecting with you all this morning. The, bless, the best place to start is by saying that I did not want to do Posse. <laughs> For those who don't know, the Posse Leadership Merit-Based Scholarship seeks to place leaders in a cohort of support through their undergraduate studies. Mere days into my senior year of high school and excited at the prospect of attending a college with the Questbridge Full Ride Scholarship, I told my guidance counselor that I had changed my mind about going to the first round of Posse interviews. I was mentally prepared to counter any point she made to convince me to attend the Posse interview, but after some back and forth, I decided to go. A few weeks later, I got an email that I was not chosen to be a Questbridge uh, scholar. In one email, the plan that I had carefully worked on for over a year came to an end. However, I was not sad for long because two days later, I got an email from Posse that I had advanced to the second round of interviews, which I wasn't certain about. I waited until the evening before the interview to rank my school preferences and had only placed Hamilton as number one because its open curriculum closely resembled an institution I'd fell in love with my freshman year of high school. I went to the Posse interview with my mom, answered many questions, and upon request, uh, proceeded to do a few eight counts of a dance I had learned at practice with my dance team. <laughs> then came third round where I sat in a room filled with people who would potentially be my support system for the next few years. By December 2018, I was part of a posse, going to a college I had never heard of, but comforted by my belief that I was being led to where I needed to be. My interest into Hamilton was colored by the fact that for the next few years, my posse and I would have to navigate a space where we did not feel welcomed, in addition to the dynamics we had to navigate being first generation, low income, and or students of color. In the midst of feeling fragmented, we found community in other places. In a cramped ALCC basement on Friday nights at 6 p.m., I became a part of a community that believed in our shared responsibility to sustain space for black and Latinx students on campus. In that basement, I became the BLSU ghostwriter, <laughs> where I turned the simple job of sending weekly emails about meetings into a personal diary of sorts, <laughs> where I would use almost every gif I could find to try to make people laugh. Aside from, being a fellow, aside from being fellow posse members and friends, my fellow BLSU e-board, Yane Thomas, Dewan Smith, Malik Irish, and Sapphire Ruiz and I shared a common responsibility to our communities. We believe that every bit of time and energy we poured into our people was worth it and brought this passion into many other facets of campus, including Student Assembly, Feminist of Color Collective, Heat Dance Team, Voices of Color Lecture Series, and more. I come from people who are ready and willing to help anyone in need regardless of what they're going through. I brought my belief that everybody needs a village into everything I did and fully, understand, fully understanding that I would not have made it without the support of the elders of the Posse and Hiao communities. So as I stand here today delivering this speech that has caused me to cry many times, I think it would be rem remiss not to honor the community that has brought me here. To my posse, our mentor, Peter Canavo, and trainers, Howard, Allison, and Stephanie, thank you for surviving this experience with me. Thank you for giving me the space to be myself, whew, without question or limit. Ooh. Yeah. 
To my friends, the OG DMC crew, Miami Posse Nine, Dana Campbell, and the A Better Chance Clinton Scholars, thank you for creating a space for me to be in your lives and showing me that love knows no bounds. To Professor Franklin and the founders of Roots, thank you for believing that we were worthy of leading scientists of color. Thank you for believing that we were worthy of leading scientists of color to transform their understanding and view of science enough to see themselves occupying that space. To Professor Wesley Kramer and Professor Max Majerik and the rest of the Hamilton College Chemistry Department, thank you for seeing and nurturing the scientists I did not know I would become. To my siblings, Daniel and Ruthi, who both got their master's mat last week, by the way. <laughs> Thank you for being an example and reminder that there is nothing I can't achieve. We love you too. <laughs> to Mama Jo and Daddy, thank you for daring to imagine. Thank you for trusting in God as you walked boldly into a new land, determined to give my siblings and I a better life. Thank you all for loving me into a place where I can confidently say this. I am smart. I am strong. I am a fierce lover who draws strength from investing in the ones I love. I'm deserving of the good things in my life. And when I'm blinded by the many ups and downs of life, I, would grind my, I will ground myself in the many lessons I have learned these past four years and know that I'm right where I need to be and that somehow I will be okay. Congratulations, guys, to 2022. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.